What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing you a sort of guide video, just uh, covering this week's events, what's going on in Black Desert Online for these events. You already know about the pirate loot chest. Uh, it was officially extended until next maintenance, next Wednesday. So we have a full week of that confirmed for sure, uh, but was gonna cover the other couple of events that's going on and what to do for them and where to go. So the first one we have is this little guy right here. Uh, help us grow young Kamaso, and if you can't follow these instructions, don't worry because I'm going to do them for you right now. So you get the quest in Heidel, and then you're going to go to Kamaso Temple, and you can do some stuff, and then you're going to get this sweet RNG box that has 0% chance to give you good stuff and a million percent chance to give you elixirs that you're never going to use. So strap in, it's, a, it's an exciting one, here we go. Um, so first thing you want to do is take a guy and go to Heidel. And you can park over here at the stable manager because who you want to talk to, here's stable manager, is right next to that. I don't know why they don't put their name over the thing, but they don't. But they do put the quest thing over their head, so it's right there. So you talk to Kartima or Kartima or this person, catch this quest from them, and she's going to give you this little blue thing right here. So we take this guy here, got that in our inventory, and now we're going to hop on our horse and we're going to head over to Kamasilf Temple right here. So either just run over there, I guess, if you ran there, take your horse, if you brought your horse there, or if you're recording a video like I am, you can use the magic of video editing and teleport there, just like this. And we teleported here. So now that we're here, as the quest indicates, you're gonna talk to our homegirl, chilling on the throne, say what's up. You need 10 energy to be able to turn this quest in, so keep that in mind as well. Complete it, boom, done, and she's got what do you know? Another quest for you. Now this quest is where we're going to get our RNG box and it takes a minute or two to complete. What you got to do is after you accept it, you need to run to right here and then once you finally get here, press R and then press it again and then you'll complete it. And then go back and talk to homegirl, say what's up, what you doing this weekend and she gives you your box. Boom, done. We did it. That's it. So now you have your RNG boxes or box, you get one per day, so make sure you're doing that thing every day. I'm gonna save mine up and then open <clears throat> all of them at once after the end of the event and put a little video together. Next thing, free memory fragments. Now, the, I, the things you need for this each day is one memory fragment, so make sure you have that, and then you also need to be logged in for two hours. And after each of those two hours, one at a time, you will receive Moonlight Shard. We have had this event before. So what you're gonna do is take this Moonlight Shard, Use simple alchemy. You need to take one and one, and we're gonna combine these. And what happens is we have a chance to get back anywhere from one to three memory fragments. So at minimum, we will get our one memory fragment back. And we also have a small chance to get another moonlight shard, which means we can roll it again. So if we get lucky, we just roll this into a bunch of free memory fragments. Probably we're just gonna get back our one. If I recall from the last event, it was pretty likely that you get two. Oh, hey, we got it. We got our memory fragment back and another moonlight shard. So we're gonna re-roll those bad boys. And that one gave us three. Not bad. It's going, it's going pretty well. And one of these days, we'll finish combining that one. Boom. So not, not too shabby there. We got a, one extra roll because we got a, a third thingy. And our one now turned into four memory fragments total. So we gained a total of three, starting with one. That is literally the end of the event. It's pretty self-explanatory, but there you go. Broke it down for you. That's what you get. So that is it. Just make sure you the ch the chest uh, thing is still going. So make sure you're hunting chests. Get all that you can. I did notice there's a ton more people hunting this week. Like people that felt like they should have been doing it the last two weeks, and then the event got extended. So now like even more people are doing it because they realize they should have been doing it the whole time. So it's been a little bit more competitive. It's been reducing the chests per hour a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Still super super worth it to do it. And yes, that is it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. Uh, also drop a like if you didn't and if you want more content or want to catch more stuff when we do updates I'm trying to upload as daily as I can, but I can't always do it uh, But yeah subscribe to the channel if you want to catch more stuff We do some guides here and there this one's obviously pretty simple It was literally just reading what the event thing told you But now if you were stuck or didn't know exactly where to go you can see it in video form So that is it everybody. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time hey.